Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color, and this is the reading for uh, October 28th, Thursday. <clears throat> Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I am um, having an odd day. <laughs> I'm having an odd day. Yeah, my schedule is all off, whatever. I was planning on making a lot of videos today. And I don't know, the whole day just got away from me. So I'm making this video and then I'm gonna switch my shirt and make more um, fabric. Um, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Um, I offer private readings. I also offer IET, which is a healing modality. Uh, the information is below, the description is below. It'll link you to my website. Speaking of which, style designer. So I make one of a kind scarves and paintings and t-shirts. And I also have astrology t-shirts. And um, please go check it out, rightcolor.com. And I have my book ready. I got my glasses on. I am all ready. Let's see what the uh, energy is for the day. Okay. One, two, three. All right. I have no idea. <laughs> sometimes it's like, sometimes it's like, what? Huh? It's kind of one of those. Okay. So I have the page of swords, page of pentacles, and death. Okay. Well, obviously, death is the most important card on this little uh, reading. You know, pages are about inklings. Pages are about like uh, the birth of an idea or the, uh, I don't know, sort of, sort of playing with an idea or um, entertaining something new, right? But there's also this energy of pages that they have a young energy so that there's this willingness to try new things. There's a willingness to um, see things from a new angle or um, be adventurous. There's an adventurousness to the pages, right? There's an adventurousness. You know, it's kind of like when you're a kid and you've never, say, been skiing and your friend says, hey, you want to go skiing? You're like, um, okay, or bowling or whatever. Um, so this new thing is thoughts and uh, like a, a new thought of doing something physically new. So that could be, um, some new, uh, you know, hmm. so in other words, your friends invite you to go and do something that's, or, you know, you have an idea or you're watching some video or whatever of, it's like, well, I think I can, um, I don't know, go deep sea diving, even though I've never been before, even though uh, I've never put a tank on my back, you know what I mean? Or um, something like that, something very, almost out of the blue, almost that it feels like it's out of the blue. And, the funny thing about it is, is then you get death, which is a great card. Uh, I know a lot of people see it negatively. I don't. You know, this is about something dying so that something else can live. It's transformation. So I would be open to new ideas. And, um, you know, people saying, well, why don't you try this? Why don't you try this? It could even be as simple as trying a new food, you know, because it's physical. There's an idea. There's something in the air, right? So that could be a message even or a, a thought, and then it leads to something physical. It could also be um, like this new idea of a way to make money. And, uh, you know, to make yourself more secure because, you know, the pentacles symbolize 
anything in the material world. So generally, you know, most people read them as money and a lot of times it is money, don't get me wrong, but it could also be health. It could also be uh, the food you eat. It could also be um, how much money you have in the bank. It could also be a sense of like uh, physical security. So it can have something to do with the home in the physical way. So the home, the body, the bank account, you know, things that you can actually touch. <laughs> so this new ideas that are floating around in your head or that come to you, I think it's gonna to come to you, um, can actually be quite transformative. Yeah, and you know, I think it'll make you feel, uh, there's a nine attainment, so it, it's almost like a little mini get out of jail free because <laughs> he's overwhelmed, right? He's, he's surrounded, right? I always see this as should I stay or should I go? Should I surrender or should I keep on fighting? You know, that kind of thing. It's like this moment that time stands still and you, you kind of look at the layout of something and you say, oh, this is going to be my next move. But it's almost like time stands still for you to, to get a moment to gather yourself. It's like gathering yourself, right? And saying, hmm, what am I going to do next? It, it's not, even though the, um, the wands have an impulsiveness to them, this one doesn't because he's surrounded, you know, and he's got a thing on his head. It's like, uh, where am I going to go now, right? He's a little bit uh, confined. So I think this will help you break out of a certain confinement that you have, maybe of, of the way you think of yourself physically or the way you, the way you think of yourself in, in a physical, uh, as a physical body. You know, maybe it's like, well, actually, even though I'm this and this age and even though I've never done it before, maybe I can learn to ride a bicycle or maybe I can um, go skiing or maybe I can try some new foods that I've never done before, a walk, uh, to a different place and see different things. I feel like there's this energy of um, experimentation, adventurousness. That's what it feels like, adventurousness, which is great, which is great. Sometimes we have to step out of our comfort zone in order to learn things about ourselves. And, I, you know, I think the entire world, you know, that's exactly what the whole world's going through right now. So it feels good. It feels um, a like a sense of adventure, actually. That's what it feels like. So I have two pages and this, this uh, I don't I'm gonna say it's a promise, but this um, opportunity, let's say, to break out of feeling confined, you know, oh, well, I don't do that, right? Oh, well, I can't go to the gym. I can't. Uh, do a push-up. I can't um, eat a certain type of food because uh, even though I never tried it, uh, I already know. So I, it's like that. So I feel like there's a certain adventurousness. It's like, mm, okay, oh, okay, well, I'll try something new because they're really new. And, you know, Maybe it'll help you to look at that new thing. It's not a new thing after it's not new. Um, and saying, oh, that was better than I thought, or that was interesting, or that was an experience, or that was uh, transformative, or that was um, eye-opening in some way. And it makes me feel freer. So I feel like that's the energy. Very interesting. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, I did him yesterday. Now the new one for the 28th. When love and skill work together, expect a masterpiece. That should be my, I should put that on my wall. When love and skill work together, expect a masterpiece. That's beautiful. Uh, John Ruskin, uh, 1819 to 1900, English. R-U-S-K-I-N, when love and skill work together, expect the masterpiece. 
very exciting. An adventurous day. And um, so try something new. Try something new. If someone offers you, you know, or an idea comes to you, you're watching something on, you know, the internet and people are going, I don't know, skateboarding. You've never gone skateboarding before. And you're like, okay, no, there you go. Blessings. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you're one-on-one -on, -one -on -one, blah, 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 it's all, all below. Go visit my website, redcaller.com and um, buy yourself something. Blessings.